Good afternoon, good evening, YouTube. Sebastian Fortune here, Chronicles of a Source Player. This is my new toy. It's not <laughs> very new. Um, actually, I bought it brand new early in the year, just before um, the coronavirus became quite large. So I've had it since March. Um, it's a brand new Camaro ZL1 1LE. Um, this is my mental health uh, relaxation toy. Um, I got rid of a 2017 C7 Z06 Corvette in favor of this. Actually, it was a mistake to um, get rid of the Corvette. Um, but I wanted to wait for the new C8 Z06, but they don't release until 2022 from what I understand. So in the meantime, I needed something to, um, to I guess, bridge the gap between my C7 Z06 and the C8 Z06. And so this little baby right here is, um, is <laughs> I guess for lack of a better word, what the doctor ordered. This is a phenomenal machine. It has the same engine as the Z06. It has the 6.2 uh, liter, 650 horsepower. 650 foot-pounds of torque in this thing if you notice the front it has uh, the front splitter it has the dive plane on the right here that gives you more downforce when you enter into the corners so the car become a little bit more pointy so a nice sweet turn in when you're going into the corners especially if you're gonna take it to the track I'm really really excited about this baby it's really really fast doesn't seem to be as fast as the Z06 Corvette. I suspect maybe because the Corvette is a little bit lighter. And to be honest, I personally have more fun or had more fun driving the Corvette. But this thing right here is phenomenal. It's amazing. Also, this rear wing right here, very, very exaggerated rear wing. This is one of the major differences between the regular ZL1 1LE and the actual regular ZL1. This rear wing at speed can generate about um, 350 uh, downforce of pressure to keep the back end down. I'm gonna make some changes to it. I'm gonna add a diffuser to the rear end. That's gonna be one of the upgrades that I'm gonna do. Um, I've already done a little bit of upgrades. I changed out the all white gasoline tank cover to something that's a little black and a little bit more, um, a little bit more neat. Um, uh, what else? Uh, one of the first things I'm going to do is obviously change out the cool air intake from the V8 engine. That's going to give me a little bit more horsepower when I make that change. The next thing I'm going to do after I change out the cool air intake is to get me a new exhaust system. So right now, you just have the regular stock exhaust system. So I'm thinking of getting the Borla Attack um, cat, Catback. Uh, Cadillac converter back system, which will give me a little bit more of a muscle car uh, sound, uh, so to speak. Another thing that I'm going to do is I am also going to change out the, um, I'm going to add a front splitter to generate a little bit more downforce in the front for when I take it to the track. And I'm also going to add a bigger wing also to the back, uh, to the back, to the rear as well. I'm going to change out this spoiler and add a bigger one. The first thing I'll do, however, is the cool air intake. And then, of course, I will change the rear diffuser. There is really not much of a diffuser that come with the stock one, but um, I'm going to add my own rear diffuser. And one of the biggest changes I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap it in some kind of um, color that changes with the sunlight. So I'm going to get that done also. Um, so far, Besides uh, changing the little gas cap right here, I've already changed the, um, the reflector back here. It came with a standard regular red, so I replaced it with some um, LED uh, reflector here on the back and also um, LED reflector here on the sides. It kind of blacked out, give the car more of a, a sinister kind of cool uh, look um, in my opinion. This thing is a lot of fun to drive. It has a lot, a lot of power. The tires that comes, I think they're Eagle uh, F1 GT tires. They're track type tires. So 
they don't have a lot of tread. I've driven this thing in the rain a, a time or two and it, it seemed to do okay in the rain but I don't make it a habit to take it out in the rain with these tires because I certainly don't want to be spinning and slipping and sliding all over the place with 200 and I'm sorry with 650 horsepower uh, stock engine. Look at the uh, big old um, 1LE brake calipers here it's for all of the braking power that you're going to need with this monster. This is an amazing piece of machinery. Again, it's the Camaro ZL11LE. It has the track package. Um, it has the big spoiler. It has the dive plane on the front and the front a different front splitter than the regular ZL, um, ZL1. I went with a manual, uh, six-speed manual transmission. Um, the dashboard is quite nice. I like the way uh, I like the way the car sits. You know, it's really, really nice and comfortable in here to me. It has the racing seat, the Recaro racing seat. The back seat, there's not much room back there. And also the view from the back end is not that great, but I wasn't really concerned about views <laughs> when I bought this car. I just wanted something that I like, that I could enjoy, that I could have some amazing fun with, and that I could take to the track. And I'm really, really excited about this. Like I said, the Corvette, I like better. I've never had more fun with a car than I did with my Z06. I did a mistake when I got rid of it, but it's too late now to cry over spilled milk or, or sour grapes. So I'm just gonna go ahead and keep this ZL11LE until such time that the new C8 Z06 become available within the next couple of years. Um, yeah, the sound. That sounds really good for stock, but I want a little bit more, more um, noise. Um, this is a muscle car and I want it to sound like a muscle car. So when I drive by the Mustangs and some of the um, the uh, Hellcats and these other beasts out there, I can hold my own in terms of the no noise theater. I have about 2,200 miles on this thing right now. Like I said, I've had it since um, I've had it since uh, March, just before COVID shut down and all these different things. Um, I haven't put a whole lot of miles on it, but the miles that I have put on it, I think, was quite very, very enjoyable. Let me give you a look at the engine. This is the V8 um, LT4 supercharger engine. This is a monster. This is the same engine I had in the Corvette Z06. Actually, um, I think this one is geared differently because my Corvette Z06 was um, uh, a seven speed manual. So it was M7 instead of the A8, which was the automatic eight. And this one here is a six speed manual. And the way it accelerates, is much different than the Corvette, um, but it feels more nimble on the track and in twisty bits than the Corvette did. The Corvette tend to slide away, slip and slide around corners. This one right here seemed to be much, much more planted. And I think it has to do with the front dry, uh, dive planes and that monster rear spoiler that it has on it right now. So yep, this is my new mental health. <laughs> And yes, it does. I mean, mental health is very important to me. And this thing right here goes leaps and bounds into putting a smile on my face, especially when I let her breathe a little bit over a hundred and something miles an hour. Now, it's not safe to do this on the street. So one of the things that I do is taking this thing to the track and really, really hustle it around the track. Um, it, it, the, the exhaust is a little quiet, but like I said, I will replace it with a cat back boiler attack system and I will do a lot of upgrades to this thing and as I do these upgrades I will share them with the channel and hopefully um, it might uh, be entertaining to those of you who choose to join me uh, to have fun in this uh, chapter of my life and once I get that Z06 I will also be doing a lot of video with this so anyway Sebastian Fortune here Chronicles of a Source Player, um, showing you my Camaro ZL1 1LE. It's a beast of a car. I really enjoy it. I like it very much. 
It is powerful, it is fast, it is exciting. Also, it is eye candy. I get a lot of looks uh, from people wherever I go with this thing. And so, anyway, if you like this video, I mean, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, like, uh, subscribe, and share. And if you're inclined to do so, there is a donation button also in my link. Thanks again for uh, joining me as I chronicle my journey through this virtual reality simulation that I find myself in. And I am now trying to live and enjoy my best life yet. So just one more rev for the road. ZLE baby, ZLE, Seb Fortune, over and out.